Yo, what is up guys, your boy Mike here again, coming at you with another episode of the Mike Hill Podcast. How is everybody doing? Happy Hump Day. Today it is Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. Hope everybody is having a good day. I sure am. I went to go work out this morning, had my coffee, had my cold shower. Everything seems to be on a roll. I hope everything is doing well for you as well. Today, I wanted to talk about something that I posted on my Instagrams uh, a few days ago. It was a quote by The Rock, which went, Don't spend eight hours working for a company just to go home and not work on your own goals. You are not tired. You're uninspired. And to me, it hit pretty close to home because basically these past few years, I've been feeling like I have been a robot just slaving away at some, you know, job that really doesn't even matter to me anymore. You know what I mean? I kept on saying to myself, you know, when the money gets to a certain point, then that is when I will be happy. So I did an experiment. I went to go work for a company that was paying me very, very good money. Three times the money that I usually make on a regular you know, hourly basis. And I said to myself, if this money doesn't make me happy, then I know that this will never make me happy. Because basically, that amount of money that I was going to be making was going to be as much as some doctors make, you know, or or, um, or some high level nursing practitioners or a nurse anesthetist, which are nurses that uh, do anesthesia and they get paid a lot of money. And it was basically the same as that, you know, it was that amount of money. And so I said to myself, you know, if if at this point this is not going to make me happy, then at I'm going to have to start thinking of a way out of this. You know what I mean? And so I went and, and, you know, for the first week it was cool. You know, uh, I was pretty happy, you know, that I had taken that job. And, and as things went by though, I started going back to how I usually felt, right? The hedonic treadmill. I started getting used to that amount of money that I was making. So much so that it wasn't doing anything for me anymore. Instead, it started becoming a worry again. You know what I mean? And and so I was reading this book basically by um, this uh, author. He's a, he used to be a comedian. He became like this uh, uh, self-help guy. And, and he was saying, look, if if the, you have anxiety with with not a lot of money, you are going to have that same anxiety with a lot of money. It's all it's just going to flip. When you were, before you were stressing out about not having money, well, when you have money, you're going to be stressed out about losing all that money. So basically, your anxiety doesn't come from money. Rather, it comes from inside yourself. And so that's what I realized that I was lacking, that I don't really emphasize work on myself. And so when I read that quote by The Rock, I realized that, you know, that basically it was like he was talking to me. You know what I mean? And and so now, you know, I am more focused on working on my own goals. You know, it, it, it's hard to, to do away with all the crap that you've learned from school and society and they tell you that you need to be this certain type of thing. That it's hard to really hear your own voice inside of your own head. You know what I mean? A lot of people... Uh, fall into, you know, peer pressures of, of uh, just I guess succumbing to their reality, that that they drown out their own voice, and instead, you know, go out every weekend because that's what they're supposed to do, drink beer um, every other day with their friends because that's what a man does. They, you know, they. They slave away at some job because that is what society has taught them that that is what they need to do. You know what I mean? And for me, it wasn't enough anymore. You know, um, I, I, I kind of had it. And and so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about because 
I feel like, you know, more and more now, I think it's more acceptable for people to branch out on their own. You know what I mean? Like how many people really like there's one type of job, right? Like the, the one I was doing. How many people really do that job? And I was thinking, you know, how many nurses are there in the United States? A bunch, right? How many people really are pizzas? People are so different. How many of these people actually, you know, what's the likelihood that they all become nurses? And that's what they, uh, that's what they, that's, that's what their calling is, you know? And, and it wasn't really something that, you know, for me, it wasn't a calling, honestly, you know, I let money talk, right? Because when I was getting out of college, I was like, I need to do something for money, you know? And, and little by little, I started getting into debt, right? At school, then I graduated and then I got a car and then, you know, I, you know, I got, I, I basically went down the whole shebang of what 20 somethings have been going through for this whole time. The ones that have been essentially brainwashed to be a part of the matrix, right? I'm not saying everybody did that thing that I did. Obviously, there was a lot more people who trusted themselves and decided to not go to college even, right? And and now they they have more value, I, I feel, than, than people who just neglected to really invest in themselves. I guess a college degree is, is sort of an investment in yourself, but uh, not the degree I went for, I think, you know, because really, if, if you're not working in a hospital or anything like that, there's nothing really you can do with that degree. Like, let's say you study philosophy or English, maybe you could become a, a writer or something like that. And that essentially is kind of more like investing in yourself because now you have skills that almost uh, a lot of people don't have, like being a good writer and um, or being a good, you know, philosopher or whatever. Um, and, and I think that, you know, helps you out essentially. But like, for example, if, if you're doing this all for just money, like I was doing, then, and, and I put the, the blame squarely on myself, you know what I mean? Like, I blame nobody but myself. It was my decisions that I decided to do the things that I did to, you know, to just be a part of the system, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm not saying that, you know, I will not, I was just, I'm just going to flat out, you know, be some homeless guy or something like that. But, you know, I'm going to start weeding myself off. Hopefully, I don't have to come up, um, hopefully, I don't have to go back, you know what I mean? And uh, But I'm just going to dedicate all my time now to just stuff that promotes my <laughs> my vibration. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of kind of weird, but my that, that resonates with me, right? That's why when you say you resonate with certain people, right, and you don't, this guy doesn't, you don't vibe with him because literally, where does that come from? It comes from the vibration, right? You're not on the same wavelength. You're not on the same vibration. So when you vibe with something, when you don't vibe with something, it's just you acknowledging that you have a certain type of frequency, right? And and for me, I wasn't vibing anymore with what I was doing just for money. You know what I mean? Essentially, it, it came out from an honest uh from an honest thing, you know, I wanted to learn more about health. At the same time, I wanted to have some money in my pocket. But little by little, it started turning into stuff that I didn't really want to learn about. I wanted to learn about the body. I wanted to learn how to optimize yourself and all these things. But then it started getting into the procedures and all this stuff. And and one thing that gave me hope, right, and uh, and it's also in the book. It's called The Illusion of Money. Uh, he talks about Michael Creighton. If you don't know who that guy is, he is the guy that wrote Jurassic Park. He wrote that movie. And this guy had, um, he went to Harvard. He went to Harvard Medical School. He graduated from Harvard Medical School and he was already, he finished with his residency and he was doing his fellowship um, in, in, I don't know what his fellowship was in, but basically this guy was, at the last 100 meters, you know, he was about to finish the race. And he decided that that is not what he wanted to do. 
you know, the money wasn't enough to keep him there. And so therefore he was going to quit and essentially decide to do something entirely different, which was write movies. And, uh, and that's what he did. And he, 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 how do you say this? He, he trusted himself and he bet on himself more than he bet on the system. You know what I mean? Because he realized that this was not, this job wasn't going to keep him happy and it wasn't going to be something that he could see himself doing for the rest of his life. You know what I mean? And for me too, it's just like it becomes too much of a routine. I can't really see myself having this much of a routine till I die. You know what I mean? I have to have some kind of uncertainty here. You know what I mean? Like, like something's got to give and it's not here and it's not this, you know? So we'll see where that leads us. You know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, man, I want to talk about that. If you guys aren't doing that, I, th- I, I, I think that, you know, realize that. That how many how many hours a day do you spend? Forty hours a day, I mean forty hours a week. Sorry, working for some company. And, but if you were to invest those forty hours a week on yourself instead, learning what you want to learn, doing what you want to do, you know, building yourself up, then there is no way essentially that you could fail. Literally, there is no way. But that is what I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, tomorrow. I know I was going to talk about the four agreements today. I'll talk about that uh, hopefully tomorrow. If not, I, I don't see something else that I think is worthy of talking to uh, talking to you guys about. But that is all I have for today, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.